hi, Senator. Thank you so much for taking our questions. I'm currently working on my PhD studying DNA damage responses in bacteria, and I had to take out student loans for my master's to realize my dream of becoming a scientist. At the same time, these loans are holding me back from purchasing a home and all of these other um, financial dreams that I also have. So I want to ask kind of bluntly, what is the timeline that you see for student loan relief? Well, Falvia, you tell the story that's a story that literally tens of millions of Americans are telling all across this nation. And that is the consequence of student loan debt means there are lots of people who aren't moving out from their parents' homes, lots of people who aren't buying their own homes. And one of the other things the data shows, lots of people who are not starting their own businesses. And all of those things hold back our economy. So one of the consequences of forgiving student loan debt is not only what it means for you individually, which I'm all in favor of, and what it would mean for tens of millions of people like you, but it's also what it would mean for our economy overall. And I make that point because I'm sure there are lots of folks who are on this call tonight who don't have student loan debt. But here's the deal. Even if you don't have student loan debt, you will be helped by seeing student loan debt canceled because it will help our economy and it invests in our future. I want to see more scientists like you, Thalia. I think that's great. Um, but let us keep in mind on this student loan debt. If I can, I'll just do one more piece around it. About 40% of the people who are dealing with student loan debt right now don't have a college diploma. Uh, they tried. They took classes, maybe for a semester, maybe for two or three years, and had to borrow money to do it because they didn't come from families that could afford to write a check so that they could get a college degree or a two-year degree. Um, and one of the things that's now happened to them is here they are, having tried, didn't work out, who knows, had a baby, three jobs, uh, it was a bad commute, somebody got sick, but they tried. And now they're trying to support student loan debt on what you make as a high school grad. And that is just crushing the bones of a lot of people out there. Besides that, about two out of every three people who graduates from state school, which is what I did, today about two out of every three ends up with student loan debt because they just can't make it. Our state schools don't get enough taxpayer support to keep that tuition low enough that people can graduate from school without incurring student loan debt. So I think we've got a whole lot of reasons for our economy overall, but also for how we build a future. To say, let's start by wiping out a big chunk of student loan debt. And then I promise I'll do your, the answer. You would ask me, how soon can we do this? Um, send a note to President Biden, because the answer is we could do it right now. Uh, this is one of those things that doesn't have to go through Congress. The authority is already there in law for the president and his team, the administration, the secretary of education, to cancel out this student loan debt. And uh, President Obama used it to cancel some student loan debt. President Trump used it to cancel some student loan debt. I wanna see President Biden use it. If he would cancel $50,000 in student loan debt, it would make an enormous difference in the lives of tens of millions of Americans and help build our entire nation um, a stronger future going forward. So as you know, I'm all in on this one. And if we could persuade the president, we could do this 